What's up, you guys? Avery here, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to some much insane toxicity. That's all I've really got to say about this bull-ass shit. So make sure that you smash every little crap out of that subscribe button so that we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 subs, boys and girls, because y'all are killing it. Thank you so much for all the support. 804 subscribers currently. And I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. I feel like I've really made it into the big leagues. It really means a lot to me, and I really do appreciate it. So smash it so you can be part of the Avery squad. But anyways, let's talk about a brand new FTK that's in the game. <laughs> because who doesn't like cannon soldier fucking shenanigans? So this is Morphtronic Telephone. If you remember from the OCG, this was in their Duelist Pack, Duelist of Pyroxene. But Konami ended up dumping all of that Earth support and Morphtronic support into Power of the Elements for us. So we ended up getting this, uh, surprisingly, out of nowhere. So Mortronic Telephone is a level 1 machine tuner Earth with 100 attack and defense, and its effect is busted AF. Just hear me out here. So while in attack position, once per turn, you can roll a 6-sided die, and if you do, gain life points equal to the result times 100. That's cute for if slash when we go into time. Then you can special summon one Mortronic monster from your graveyard whose level is equal to or lower than the result. Spoiler alert, the dice does not have a fucking zero on it, folks. And then while in defense position, once per turn, you can roll a six-sided die to excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the result. And if you do, send one excavated Morphtronic card to the grave, and then you place the rest on the top or bottom of the deck in any order. That's really not ever going to come up unless you're dumb and special summon a Telephone from your graveyard from its first effect in defense. Then you're never going to come up. So do you see what I see? It's uh, it's in the first effect while it's in attack mode. Read it very closely. It says once per turn... But does it have a hard restriction? Spoiler alert, no it fucking doesn't. This thing is not once per turn. A hard once per turn specifically. We really don't see this that often. And the last time that I can think of that we saw this with like a meta card was with Firewall Dragon. Where it wasn't a hard once per turn. It was just a soft once per turn. So if you could loop the fucker, then you could just constantly bounce back shit and special summon shit. So that's what we're going to be doing with Telephone. <laughs> so this is a deck profile that just abuses the shit out of Cannon Soldier with Telephone. So let's go ahead and dive on into it. So we're playing one copy Bash Blossom, one copy Cannon Soldier, one Codebreaker Zero Day because we can get it out off of the Virus Swordsman in the extra deck, one DD Crow, one Pankratops, one Baylor, three Gadget Gamers. So this is like a one card, let's get out Telephone. It's a Rota and it's also, or it's a Stratos and it's a Lone Fire. So when it's normal summon, you add one level one machine type monster from your deck to your hand. So Telephon. Uh, and then you contribute it to special summon a Morphtronic monster from your hand, like Telephon. Then you can special summon a Gadget Hauler from your hand or deck, and you can only use each effect once per turn. Gadget Hauler is this weird thing. You send as many number of Morphtronic monsters from your hand to the grave to have this card gain eight hundred attack for each. It's a pile of booty booty butt cheeks, but basically you can just use it to like dump a Telephon to the grave if you need, and then use another Telephon to get Telephon. So that's all it's really here for. One Gadget Hauler, and it's also like material. Uh, one Ghost Spell, three of the Naganaki, because you can uh, special, you contribute a Machine Monster whose attack equals its own defense to special summon a Machine Monster whose attack equals its own defense with a lower level than the Tributed Monster. Uh, and then three Telephon, one Nibiru, one Gamma, one Driver, and that's just because we're playing the three cross-out targets with the one call by, because if you get hit with a hand trap, your booty hole about to get destroyed. <laughs> One Foolish Barrel, three Machine Dupe, because if you go fucking Telephon and Machine Dupe, you just destroy everybody's day. It's comical. One Monster Reborn, one One for One, three Prosperity, three Where Arf Thou, three Small World. Don't ask me what the fucking connections are. I don't, I, I don't play this card. I don't want to even attempt to know how it works. And then one Infinite Impermanence. For the extra deck, we're playing one Independent Nightingale, one Double A Zeus, one Downer, one Apollosa, one Virus Berserker, one Virus Swordsman. Like I said, it gets you the zero day when you summon it and it's co linked. One Curios, one Dispatch Paparazzi, whatever the fuck, one Firewall, one Phoenix, one Spider, double Link Karibo, one Limbata, and Saryuja Skull Dread. So if you read uh, Hanko Chow's TCG player article, then you'll know that this is where I got the build from. Even he said he's not the best deck builder, so I feel like this is kind of more a starting point that the community can uh, start from. And uh, just abuse the fuck out of Telephone. Now, is Telephone going to get banned? 
I, I don't think so, man. I think Konami's just going to roll out a hard once per turn on this thing, or they're going to use this opportunity to do like with what the OCG did and ban a fuck ton of stuff that can abuse it. So I'm talking like all the cannon soldiers, the um, Amazonas Archer that tributes two monsters to deal 1,200. We saw that in the OCG when they got Telephone. They just banned all of this non-once per turn shit. And I really don't know how I feel about that. I feel like you have to ban the problem instead of banning the problems around that. We saw that even in the OCG where, like, they hit Cannon Soldier when Firewall Dragon was the fucking problem. Whereas here, we actually hit the problem. You know, it's it reminds me, honestly, of, like, the old George Carlin comedy skit where he's like, you know, we changed the name of Shell Shock to Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. Just because you change the name of the condition doesn't change the name of the fucking condition. It's similar here. Just because you ban a card that was abusing another card doesn't change the issue with the fucking card. The issue is still that Telephon is not a once per turn. So, and th this this card's insane. Do I think Morphtronics are going to be tier 1? Hell the fuck no. If you're playing straight Morphtronics, they can have a card like this and it's fine. It's adorable. It's when you have generic shit like the Cannon Soldier or you're able to throw it into generic shit that Telephon becomes broken. And keep in mind, too, you're gaining life points. So if you're able to just loop this shit over and over, like you could just go into time and have higher life points. So this card's definitely going to get hit. Uh, don't worry your pretty little face about that. It's it's going to get hit in some way, shape, or form. I mean, shit, it's a fucking telephone in an office. <laughs> like, bruh, are we really going to be playing this game today? Like, no, absolutely not. I will say, though, if, if you show up to a regional or something, and I'm X2, and you drop this on the table, and we're going to be doing FTK shenanigans, and you're going to be the reason why I don't get my invite, I'm going to be salty AF. So if you want to be that guy that's going to make everybody in the room salty, go for it, pimp. I mean, uh, power of the elements. It's 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 an element. That's that's for damn sure. Like this, this is why a lot of people are saying that power of the elements is a rise of the duels equivalent set because you're getting so many new toys to play with in this 100 card booster set that it's it's bonkers. Like it, it really breathes new life into Yu-Gi-Oh. And then plus you have the balance that's around the corner. Who knows what's going to happen with that? You know, it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens here uh, with. Morphtronic Telephone or just Morphtronic FTK in general. So, guys, let me know what you would change about this deck. Are you going to try this out? Are you going to try it on Dueling Book or EDO Pro just to troll? Um, you know, go ahead and go be that guy. I mean, I'm not going to blame you. Like, if it gets wins, it, it gets wins. If it deserves to be banned, I mean, hey, it, it should be played. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support, and I will see you in the next video.